What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is my Neobot robotic vacuum I had for about five years and it stopped working. Well, it works but it goes around in circles and then stops. It only goes one direction, that way, counterclockwise and it gives you a message right there and then you flip it over and then you can feel that it has a lot of resistance you can barely move it this one you can hear it's easy to remove here it feels easier to move this one feels has a lot more resistance Ugh. All right, so now we're gonna press fo so we're gonna press forward on the remote, and basically, if it goes forward, fo straight, that means both wheels are working, and if it goes this direction, that means this wheel is working, but if it goes that direction only, then you know that this wheel's working, that wheel's not. So let's go ahead and go forward. Let's try again. We're going to go forward. Looks like it's going around circles. It says main wheel issue. So if it's going around in circles like this, that lets me know that this wheel's working and this wheel is stuck. It's not working. Let's turn it off. Goodbye. Even though it's the Neobot N1 right here, the actual model on the robot is L8850. They label their parts L for left side right here, L for left, and then R for right, and this says R as well. So everything's labeled and easy to maintain. And if it's easy to maintain, you're gonna have a long life with this thing. I also contacted the service department and they are very responsive and they sent out my part and within a couple weeks, I ended up getting the part I was really impressed with their customer support. Customer service is an A. Robotic vacuum, the quality of the product, lasted me about five years. I would rate that an A too as well. So anything that has moving parts, you're gonna have to maintain, unfortunately. And robotic vacuums is one of them. So if you're able to maintain your robotic vacuum, then you're gonna have a long life with it. For self-emptying robotic vacuums, they're not cheap. They're about four to five hundred dollars. So it's worth, you know, maintaining these robotic vacuums, especially the self-emptying robotic vacuums. There we go. See so if you ever have to swap out the battery. This is how to do it pretty easy and this is the battery if you ever need to swap it out every three years you probably need a new battery um, especially if you use it every day I run mine every morning all right so I did mark which wheel was getting stuck and so I marked it with an X so it's this one right here so we're gonna work on this one In my other video, I did a wheel repair, but it wasn't the motor or anything like that. It was actually the spring. I had to drill a screw sideways and attach the spring to it. And so it was able to do this. And so this, this time I think the motor is bad because the motor doesn't run efficiently.
think I need a small screwdriver and magnetize it. There we go. There we go. If you rub your tip of your screwdriver on a magnet rock, then it magnetizes the screwdriver. So keep that in mind. I have a magnetic rock on my desk and I just swipe it on that for a couple seconds and magnetizes the screwdriver. It's pretty cool. Oh, one more, it looks like. There we go, got it. Here we go. Looks like I'm gonna have to take that out. I don't know if you can see that or not. So it looks like this has to be removed. I don't want to break it because then that's gonna really suck. Let's just walk it out. Let's we'll wiggle that out real soft, nice and easy, so I don't break any connectors or rip any cables out of the connector. And do the same thing over here. This one's hard to get. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go, got it. So if you pull on the wires, yeah, it can unplug, but at the same time, you could rip the wire right out of the connector and that's kind of a pain to put it back in the connector. There's a little hooks in there and you have to push it back in and make sure the hook grabs. So it's possible to put the wire back in after you rip it out, but it's not easy to put it back. So this one right here is the new one, and this is from Neobot, and it's labeled R, okay, and this side is R, as you can see, and this is R, so we got the right part, it looks like, you see that little switch right there, the little micro switch, I think that switch lets the robotic vacuum know that it's sitting on the ground, and so when you pick it up, it knows when it's getting picked up and it sends a message to the software alerting you that the vacuum is off the ground. Hopefully this fixes the robotic vacuum. I believe it would. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh. This might work. Maybe if I take this off, that might work a little bit better. Oh, it's hooked right here. And there's another screw right here. All right, so let me see. Let's go ahead and run this through here. And then connect it right here. Yep, that's a good connection. And then we're gonna put everything back. When you move 
move the wheel, make sure that the micro switch clicks just like that. So it functions properly. And let's go ahead and put a couple screws in so it doesn't fall apart when we put the spring back on. Okay, that's one, two, Here we go. So, and then we're gonna put the last one on right here. I think it goes in this way. There we go. So all the cables are connected. Just gotta connect that spring. Once we connect the spring to the hook, then we're good. Just don't break the hook. It's made of plastic. Boom, got it. And let's see if it works. Yep, it clicks. All the cables are connected. And now we can install the wheel. So now we can slide it back in. If it doesn't go in all the way, then the cables are in the way. So make sure you adjust the cables so it slides in all the way. And let's go ahead and put the screws on. That's one. Two. Now I think I know why the wheel went bad or the motor went bad is because it got stuck under my ottoman and it kept on trying to free itself and it kept on making that winding noise, like struggling noise. And I think it burnt out the motor. That's just my theory. So if you have a robotic vacuum that keeps on getting stuck under the couch or your ottoman or whatever, you know, make sure you free it up quickly because you can burn out these motors and then you're gonna have to replace the motors. But, um, I wish the software detected that faster, like, you know, within a matter of like three seconds and then it'll just alert you. Almost forgot to put the battery in. I did replace the battery, so this should last me a pretty long time. So hopefully I won't have any issues with this after, after this install. Tuck it all in like that. Yep, they feel about the same resistance. And then this one, yeah, this one has like really, look at that. You can't barely move it. Look at that. So that, that could be like, you know, a troubleshooting step is grab it on both sides and then roll your thumb forward and feel if it has the same resistance. If the wheel has the same, if both wheels have the same resistance, then you know there's nothing really wrong with the motor. And then this one, if I do that the same, it's a lot harder to push that forward. So that could be a troubleshooting step that can help you. And if it does, give me a thumbs up. Another thing you want to check is your brushes. You want to maintain these brushes and also replace them over time because sometimes the ends go bad and then the brush will have an issue. So let's go ahead and put that back in. There we go. We're good there. Looks like I got a couple screws right here. And three more right here. Yes, 
Oh yeah. Guys, we got a winner. So I saved myself $450. I fixed the robotic vacuum. Hopefully this video helps you out. If it did, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that has issues with their robotic vacuum, go ahead and click the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If you like tech videos like this, click on the subscribe button, hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. And if you're interested in the Neobot or the Nia Casa robotic vacuums, click on the link in the video description below. Thank you, Neobot, customer support. Once again, you really delivered.